starting live video. Okay, so hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are actually back. We are having Mercury retrograde challenges on the BU interview this evening, all day. So I'm going to invite my guests. Um, I think this is a little button here and see who my guests are. I'm going to put that person's name in. Um, Tunji, hopefully he is waiting for me, Tunji, and then I can bring him in. Um, let's see what we got. There's Tunji invite. Okay, so he's been invited, and let's hope and pray that he is there to um, to speak to us this evening. Let me invite some more people while I'm at it. Emily, Maeve, Dizzy, let's see who comes on board. Okay, so tonight we're going to be talking to Pastor Tunji is watching. So how come he's not in the group? So how do I get... Hmm. So I've added a request to be in your broadcast. Yes. Add. Add. There you go. Add. Yes. Add, add in. Hey. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you loud and clear. I can awesome. Hear you loud and clear. Can awesome. you hear me? Yes, loud and yeah, clear. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know what? Making it happen because you That's know I just it. decided that we were gonna. I was gonna because we're having so many challenges all day, just challenge after challenge after challenge, and it's oh. like you know what? Let's get this. Let's just let's, let's do it. Let's, let's do it. And do so it. thank you so much for That's persevering. Fine. That's fine. I know you, you had some challenges trying to get to a place where we can have this conversation yes. as well. Yes. So, you know, if this is meant to be, if God wants it to happen, it's making it happen. Oh, so yeah. Fantastic. Definitely. <laughs> can you but see me, though? Because I know the web, the, I'm near a window. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're more in silhouette. So if you can find a place where you can face the light, that would be really cool. Okay. Um, just maybe ah that's perfect much perfect better. perfect perfect much much better okay so let's do so, this <laughs> let's hey do danny this. thank you for coming on <laughs> danny fantastic seeing you this is brilliant oh uh, this yes. is so much better than the be live tv situation oh yeah. anyway yeah so let me bring up this my okay so what i need to do is introduce the show the chat okay and um okay so we're going to be talking this evening to... Okay. How do you pronounce your last name? Olu Jimmy. Okay, so Tunji Olu Jimmy is an author of five books, a speaker, a pastor, a worship leader, and a, the book author coach. Now, we're going to be speaking to him in a minute and find out how he does his thing, his way, with his business and helps people to um, achieve, um, achieve their greatness by publishing their books in a certain way and actually leveraging and making money from those books as well. But first, I have to do my housekeeping here. So Okay. Thank you, Danny, for the love. <laughs> and Danny does the same as me, so keep it up, girl. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Danny is brilliant. She's she's a, a, a amazing woman as well. The two of you are doing great things for, you know, people and expressing and sharing their messages in the world. So, yeah, that's Thank what you. we want to know. <laughs> Fantastic. So let me tell you about um, the group that we're that you're actually watching this in, if, okay. um, and if you're watching on a replay as well. So uh, I also want to remind people that we'll be going live um, normally every Thursday now. It used to be Wednesdays, but I wanted to do them on a Thursday now because I've got something planned for the Wednesdays. So. Um, and if you're watching, please share, please comment, please let me know where you're calling, where, you know, where you're coming in from. That all helps. And if you can actually hear us, that would be, if you just let <coughs> us know that as well in the comments, that would be great. Now, this is the Live Authentic group. Live, learn, hang on, I'll get it right a minute. Learn, laugh, live, love, and be you. It's all about, um, well, it's for cre creative, inspired entrepreneurs who want to learn live, laugh, love, and leave a legacy of their body of work to help make a difference in the world by being themselves and doing it their way. So um, this is a place where you'll find support, information, coaching, and training tips 
um, on creating a lifestyle that supports your business and celebrates your life purpose by being you, being the authentic you who wants to make a difference, make an impact, make money, and make a real difference in people's lives. Okay, so if you've not met me before, this is the first time you're seeing me. My name is Jennifer Beaumont White, and I'm known as the Emotional Freedom Specialist and Intuitive Business Coach. Now, my mission is to help my people move from fear to love, know without doubt that anything is possible, mm. and become the best version of themselves and leave the world better than we found it. And um, uh, this bit I have to skip because on the Be Live platform, you used to be able to join the conversation, but I'm not on that pl platform today. So, um, as I said, if you want to share the love, invite people to come in and um, see this um, presentation as well. And if I can fathom it out, I'll invite some people as well. Yeah. And if you're on a replay, please just leave a comment. Um, that will be so useful. And if you've got any questions for Tunji or myself, even on the replay, please put it in there so that we can actually respond and um, have some interaction with that as well. So, um, I said, what we're going to be talking about this evening is we're going to be talking to Pastor uh, Tunji Al uh, Alujimi. Yeah. Um, and as I said before, he's an author of five books. He's a speaker, he's a pastor, a worship leader, and the book author coach. He's the founder and creator of the Accelerated Authors Academy, um, who is here to help you to write your best-selling positioning, best-selling positioning book that establishes you as an expert and authority in your industry in as little as 90 days to build your platform and business to impact, influence, and income. I should have said for impact, influence, and inc income. And he's also the founder of Glory Realm Ministries, who serves as a voice to bring back the true essence of worship and show people how to experience and encounter encounter the glory of God. And I welcome you. Trimmy. Thank you very Thank much so for much. having me, Jenny. Thank you. <laughs> Fantastic. So to me, Tunji. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I need to just calm down because of all this stuff that's been going on today. Be, just let me calm down. A bit of tapping would not go on this <laughs> right now. <laughs> just calm, 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 calm. Okay, so Tunji, let's talk about how we actually met because yes. um, we met in a group. So if you could yes, just we did. let people know. Um, so we met um, in the GTEx group, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and that was a couple of years ago. I think it was 2016, if I'm right, yeah. around yeah. that time. And um, we've been friends ever since. And, um, you know, GTech is doing some amazing stuff. And I joined them just to help me with my business. And you were there at the time as well. Um, and yeah. yeah, we just clicked and got to connect with each other. And yeah, things are great since then. So thank you for the connection and the friendship. <laughs> Thank you as well. Thank you as well. Now, the reason I invited you onto this show is that um, you did a Facebook Live some yes. time ago. And yes. I was so impressed on what you were saying and what you were offering in terms of your knowledge around how you can make a book, how you can help um, uh, your business by having a book yeah. around your industry or your um, profession and leverage that book to make money as well as get your... A message out there yeah and I, I was really impressed on how you had the various different things and different ways that you can do that and I thought oh my gosh you've come on so far <laughs> since I first met you and you're doing it and I'm thinking yeah I've got to interview you I've got to help you spread the message of Thank how you. people can actually do this and share their message in the world yeah. yeah so if you could just sort of tell me your journey into um getting to that point where now you're helping people so how did you actually get Start. into writing okay. um, yeah, and um, helping people so i got into writing um, a couple of years ago now and um, that was because people were asking me oh um i because i'm a pastor so i do lots of preaching and singing and my area is the area of worship and people kept asking questions around that area and at the time a friend of mine had written a book and i thought oh if you can write a book, then I can write one too. And I think I can use a book to answer those questions that people were asking me. And um, yeah. I just got all my um, notes together because this was the time where Facebook notes were um, 
in tune, I would say, and mm-hmm. people are writing notes and sharing it on Facebook, and I written a lot of notes, and I just got all my notes together, basically, plus my yeah. sermons and stuff, got them together, put it in a book, and I just made it a book, and I um, published and launched that book, and since then, I've launched another four books. Yeah. So how did you, 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 you you've done some bestsellers. I mean, was, it, was your first book a bestseller in the first place? No, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, my last book was a bestseller on Kindle. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That was, yeah, I'll try your book fast was a bestseller. The rest were just, because all my other books are Christian books, and that, I didn't know yeah. nothing about bestseller. I just wanted to write books and, and publish them just to be a blessing to people. So it's yeah, only yeah. when I started doing this that I found out about being an Amazon bestseller, and using a book to build your business and all those kind of stuff. At the time, then, I didn't know nothing about that. I was just writing just to be a blessing. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. So you wrote your books, and then you decided what from that point. So you must have found a, a way to help people with, with your books. Yeah, or, so or help after my write third their books. book, after yeah. my third book, people just kept asking me, oh, how do you write books? You know, so you've written three books already. So how do you write books? How do you write books? And I just mm-hmm. thought, I think I helped about two people or so um, for free. And I thought, oh, I can actually start a business with this. So I helped about okay. another two or three more and, you know, add one or two testimonials. And from there, um, launch the business. And since then, I've been able to help over 20 or 30, about 30 people or so to get their books out in less than 90 days. Wow. Fantastic. And any, any of those been bestsellers? Or some of them been bestsellers and them? some haven't. Um, I, I, I don't focus so much on the bestseller. I focus more on what to do with the book. Yeah. Because, yes, you can be a bestseller. That's fine. But what else yeah. can you do with that particular book? So you can build a business with the book by building a platform by, you know, like I was saying on the Facebook Live that you joined. You can create, yeah. you know, online courses, webinars, events, and all those kind of stuff that you can do with the book. So using the book as a tool to build yeah. a business and to get your clients in, and from them coming in through your book, they can go up your funnel that way. Yeah. Fabulous. So, so do you actually hold people's hands through the whole journey of actually creating the book, writing the book, getting it published, and then biz- building a business around it as well. Yes. So, you know, you show them what they, what they can actually do. Yes, yeah, so I show you that first, you need to first plan your book, not write it. So mm-hmm. most people will write their book first, and that's why they never finish it. So I teach yeah. you how to first plan it, outline, mm-hmm. structure, then write. Yeah, and yeah. Once it's written, then, or while you're writing, you can start building a business around that particular book. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. I think that's how I did mine as well because I'm, I'm, um, all yeah. I love planning and I love sort of getting things and my ducks in order. So the first one I wrote was was do the outline and the planning, and then filled in. It's like a, a puzzle. Yeah, <laughs> got the outline and then filling everything in between, and yeah. that's how it got written. Because before, as you were saying, if you just start from the beginning and try and write it, it doesn't get. It, it, it's got nowhere to go. Yeah. So you, you're all over the place. Yeah. 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 Fabulous. Fantastic. So, um, in terms of, um, <coughs> excuse me, That's oh, yeah. in terms of the business side of things, how's how, um, how are you doing in that area? I mean, have you always wanted to be a business person? No, I've, I've didn't think of it. <laughs> I never ever <laughs> thought of doing business at all. Um, I, I studied to be an accountant. Um, but didn't even go down that line anyway. Um, <coughs> been in ministry for years as well, so definitely mm-hmm. ministry and pastoring is one of my um, babies. I love it. I love doing ministry. So I know eventually mm-hmm. I'm going to be doing that full time anyway. Um, okay. Plus business as well now. Yeah, but I never ever yeah. thought of doing business at first. <laughs> okay, so you sort of drawn into it. Yes. It called you. It, it called, called you. me, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and now make an impact and influence, which is great. Fantastic, fantastic. So on your journey, um, have you had any kind of, uh, apart from today with Mercury being in retrograde and holding up all the, inf- in the, the, the communication structure and everything that's, <laughs> that's going on at the moment, um, 
have you had um, any sort of pitfalls, blocks, failures? Oh yeah. <laughs> what was the worst one that you can recall that, and how did you sort of turn that around? Um, not knowing what to do because I've never ever started a business. So just starting out trying to do what I can do and mm -hmm. then falling along the way by making lots of mistakes when it comes to not understanding you know, I'm creating all these landing pages and understanding email sequences. I didn't know nothing about all of that stuff, you know, yeah. um, building funnels and all of that. I did not know what that was until I came into this industry. And um, what saved me was hiring a coach. You know, when you get yourself a coach or mentor, that definitely yeah. will help you to build you know, yeah. on whatever you're doing. Because I was just, I wasn't making money. And mm -hmm. um, I just didn't know what I was doing. I was just doing whatever I thought needed to be done. You know, yeah. until I, <laughs> I, I joined GTEx and um, some, someone else as well. Um, that's yeah. when things began to make sense for me. And I began to understand, oh, this is how you actually do things. You know, and yeah. now I can teach that to my clients. Exactly, exactly. Coaching and mentoring. I mean, I think, I think most people are going to recognize that somewhere along the line, they will get to where they're going. Yeah. Um, business or no business, you know, projects, sports or whatever, they'll get there. But you always get there faster when you have a coach, faster mm. when you have to be accountable to, faster that somebody's already done it or they can make suggestions and hold your hand and guide you. It, yeah. it just makes the whole process fun and ease. I wouldn't say it's easier, but not easy. Yeah, yeah, it's easier yeah, when you have yeah. somebody on your side. And, and now you're in a position to help and guide other people in your, you know, in, through whatever you've been through as well, which is absolutely yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, Brilliant. definitely. Yeah. So, okay, so do you want to sort of outline maybe, I don't know, uh, I don't know, two or three ways that people can actually make money from their book? Okay. Um, first, let me start with how they can actually get their book done. Then I'll go into that. So, um, yeah. Yeah, what, cool. I, what I teach is um, finding an opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, so make sure you find an opportunity to write about. So that can be either in your workplace, your career, um, if you have a business or if you have a passion about something, find that opportunity first and mm -hmm. then, you know, do the research is the next step. Research on that opportunity, get the knowledge for that particular topic that you want to write about. And then mm -hmm. the next step is take action and just go and write the, write the book. <laughs> okay. But let's so, let me just, just pause you one second and just say hi to Mike, who's watching. Hi, Mike hi, Thomas. Mike. Hi, uh, if you want to leave some questions, comments, please do. We'll be able to answer them either um, soon after the broadcast or maybe even during the broadcast. So thank you, Mike, for watching. Thank you. So, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's one. The first thing is opportunity. Yeah. The second Something thing is research. Yeah. So the first research. is find an opportunity, yep. get the research done, and then the last thing is take action. Okay, so when, when, you, when you say research, what are we looking at in terms of research? What, um, what, what should we be looking for? Looking into the area of what you want to write about. So just say you want to write on finance, for example. What type of finance? Do you want to write on investment? Mm -hmm. Do you want to write on banking? Um, do you want to write on mortgage? So go and find out that particular topic itself that you want to write about then also now look for strategies that you're going to talk about within that particular book so that in okay. each chapter there's a specific point that you're going to address okay you know within and, and, that book yeah so does it matter that your book isn't for example is, is would you need to know that there's a market for your book that there's something people are searching for oh yeah definitely to... and that's part of the research as well which i was coming to that okay. you have to find okay, yeah. your target market as well you know so yeah. you know look at find out your topic <laughs> do the yeah. research on your topic then make sure you do the research on who is your target market who are you writing for who is this particular yeah, yeah. book for you know is it just for men is it for men and women what age are they where are they based? What do they like doing? You know, why mm -hmm. would they actually want to read your particular book? Mm -hmm. You know, so find Since. that out. And then also, <clears throat> you need to find out where do I want this book to go? 
you know, so okay. we look at different things that are going on with authors and say, okay, do I want to come become a bestseller? Do I want to start speaking? What, what do I want to do with this particular book? So do research on what authors do with books and mm-hmm. then you can plan out what you, what you would want to do with your particular book. You know, then just take action. That's the last step. Take action and go and get the book done. Once you finish the research and plan the book, go and, mm-hmm. and, and just get it done. Right. Fabulous. And you make it sound so easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you break it so, down, it, it is yeah. much easier than, you know, people make it. Yeah, yeah. So getting the book done, I mean, it, it's all well and good so, so writing stuff. I mean, is, is there like a... Um, um, uh, a process. Well, I mean, do you, yeah, do you help people with the process of the yeah. writing? You know, so, putting it out and... Yeah. What I do is I, I help you by mind mapping the book out. So we do a okay. mind mapping session whereby we mind map out your topic and we fill out a, a, a full page of a, probably A4 or we can use a flip chart and fill that up. And then you have everything that you need for your book. You have your topic, which is your title, mm-hmm. or you can frame your title from your topic. Then you have your chapters within that mind map and from that mind map you now go and group all your ideas together to form your chapters and yeah. from yeah. there you form your sub chapters that are going to go into each chapter or the sections that are going to go into each chapter from your mind map you know so mm-hmm. i that's the way i do it and i feel it's the easiest way to get your book done by mind mapping and then grouping your ideas together to form your chapters and your sections within each chapter and then, you know, your book is ready to be written once it's planned and structured. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've written the book. Okay, so we've got the planning, we've done all of the research, and we've, we're now taking action. So we've written yeah. the book. Okay, so now how do we get it out to the greater universe? So getting it out is now the publishing part, whereby you go and use a publishing platform, or you can use um, a publisher if you want, mm-hmm. um, but the easiest way is just using publishing platforms out there like um, CreateSpace, KDP, which is owned by Amazon, or you can use Ingram Spark, which is a very good um, company as well, owned by Lighthouse, Lightning House. Um, mm-hmm. And um, you can use Lulu.com. That's another okay. one that people use as well. But I prefer um, Ingram Spark and CreateSpace, but Lulu is still good. Up. Those are the three I would recommend anyway. Or you can use a self-published, self-publishing company. Or mm-hmm. if you want to take it to the next step, then try and get traditionally published if you can. Okay. You know, that's if you can, because you need to have a certain amount of followers and a certain amount of clout for um, traditional companies to want to publish you. You know, so that's yeah. the way to now publish your book, to get it out there in terms of mm-hmm. getting it online into online stores. But for you to get the word out there properly yourself, that's when you need to now do the work. <laughs> okay, so that's <laughs> so when you've done the work and you have to do the more work. <laughs> you need to do more work. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, um, it's a business. Even though you're probably not building a business around it, writing a book is still a business because you need to sell. Okay? Yeah. So yeah. doing the work is using social media effectively. You know, yeah. you need to use your social media very, very effectively. Shout about your book every single day or every single week. You know, yeah. if, if yeah. it's a quote from your book, you can put a quote um, with the cover of your book and you just post it every single day on Facebook, on in, um, LinkedIn, on Twitter, on um, Instagram, you know, and people will start knowing about your book and create a hashtag that you can use, yeah. you know, for your particular book. Um, if you're doing a book launch, that's a very good way to get more traction for your book launch as well, even before the launch. You know, so okay, using so social what, media what effectively. Is, what is a book launch as so, opposed to just shouting about it on, on social media? So a book launch basically is when you get people together that wants to come and celebrate with you that you've actually written your book and the book okay. is being launched on this particular day. So you yeah. can either do it online some people do it online or you can do it in person you know so it's up to you you can either do it online or in person and you just need to shout about it and make sure you have people in attendance on that day so that they buy your book 
and mm -hmm. on that day your book can become a bestseller if you have enough buys and it, um, yeah. you get some reviews as well and then mm -hmm. your book can become a number one bestseller wow wow because i know years ago you used to have to have like hundred thousand um units sold before you become a bestseller yeah, but i think but a bestseller is just now. a yeah a time period in which it's yeah. it reach a certain target and then yeah. It's a bestseller, best so best it's fantastic. Yeah. So it's so much easier to get that credibility yeah, now. Yeah, it is easier, yeah. Definitely much easier now. You know? So Probably. you can do that. And then mm -hmm. um, also you can, like you have now, a group. Create a group whereby you have a community of people that like, love and trust you. And you yeah. communicate with them on a daily basis or weekly basis where you share tips, you share you know, advice and your knowledge. And because you've shared so much with them, when it comes to now getting your book, they will want to go out and buy it. Because, you know, because you've shared knowledge, you want it all in shared, one place. Yeah, all in yeah, one place. Yeah. So you've built a community of people. You're not just, you know, shouting out to everyone, but you have people that actually love you, like you and trust you because of what you provide and your yeah. values. You know, so building a community is definitely one of the mm -hmm. great ways to shout about your book and get your book out there. Well, you know what? That is a really valuable tip you're giving me right now because I've written three books <laughs> and they're all ebooks and I've been giving them away in terms of, um, you know, as my opt in. But just okay. lately, um, one of my coaches has said that they're actually too, too much of a book for yeah. an opt in. Yeah. So maybe just get them published. Yeah, um, definitely. If they're more sorry. than 10 pages, then definitely yeah. it's more than a book. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, one of them is 68 pages, and oh, the other wow, one's... No. Um, That's too much them, for a few Yeah, gifts. 7 and then 18 pages. So I think I need to do a little bit of tweaking around them and actually get them maybe on Kindle Publisher and so, yeah, something like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then talk to them in my group about what I've done. So yeah, yeah and encourage yeah. other people to come forward with their books as well. Yeah. So if you're, you're watching this and you're in the Live, um, Live Authentic group and you've got a book that you... Um, in you and you want to write it or you've actually written a book and you want to shout about it please come into the group and tell us all about your book um if you want some help from tunji as well to um get your book out there and help um get into help you to shout out to the universe about your book and tell you how to um just get it written and get the message out there that's brilliant please yeah. come in and you know come into the group and he'll be able to uh, help you with that as well and the next level we're going to talk about is how to turn that in the book into a business. Yes. How does, how does that happen when, you know, because I believe you can even do it from a free book to make a business. Yeah, you can. So yeah. with your free book, for example, um, within that Kindle book, you can have a link that links to your free gift. Or if just say you have a free PDF, for example, a free um, cheat sheet or what, a checklist or probably a free video course or free mm -hmm. webinar, you can put that link in your Kindle book. And whenever someone okay. buys it, they click that link and it takes them straight to wherever you want to take them to. You know, yeah. and then that means you now get their email address and their name. So you're building your list yeah. with your book. Okay. 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 And then yeah. you know how you set up your funnel. So just say your funnel is a free book then from mm -hmm. the free book to a free video, maybe a two, three-part video. And from the mm -hmm. three-part video to an online course, then an online course to a signature program. However mm -hmm. you want to build that funnel is up build to you. Yeah. But you can actually use that book to lead mm -hmm. people into your funnel and build a business that way. You know, So from a book, you can create an online course. So your online course can be the title of your book. You know, Each mm -hmm. model of that online course can also be a chapter within your book. The same mm -hmm. with your signature program. You know, so you yeah. have, probably have a 90-day signature program. That's 12 weeks. You could have probably 10 weeks of teaching and two weeks of whatever it is you want to do within the last two mm -hmm. weeks. And the 10 weeks, each week could be a chapter of your book. Yeah. You know, yeah. so from writing a book, you can create so much things. From there, you can also build um, a live event. You know, uh, okay. one, of, one of my live events that I do is called Write a Book, Build Your Platform. And I only done that because I wrote a book on how to write your book fast. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. So 
from writing how to write your book fast, I now built the, um, the boot camp, the one day boot camp that I do, which is the Awful Pino um, boot camp. Mm-hmm. You know, and then oh, from... yeah, taken, on, taken on that title because you were asking in the group about the title for your for your boot camp. I'm changing it. I'm just I've not changed it yet, but that's the I do use Authorpreneur at the moment. Yeah, um, but I'm just restructuring things at the moment. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. So from there, and I this, do is, that. this is part of being this is part of being in touch with your audience as well. Yes. Actually, asking them what they want, what's what's going to appeal to them. Yes, and then definitely. letting them know the offering as well at the same time. Yeah. So they think, you know, okay, well, I've got this offer. So what would what would you like me to call it, kind of thing. So at least they know. So then, and that's like part of the, the promotion process as well. Yes, which is definitely. Really fun. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So, you know, from there, you can create a paid webinar, for example, that you can bring people into. They pay maybe $20 or whatever it is you want to charge. And you do, mm-hmm. you know, whatever it is you want to do with them for that hour or two hours. Then mm-hmm. from there, you could have um, probably a boot camp like I do or a workshop yeah. or a masterclass that you can charge people a premium price because it's a one day with you where they get to know everything that you want to teach them. Or you can yeah. create a mastermind, you know, so there are yeah. different things that you can do just by having a book. So many people have built platforms with their books and built a business around it. You know, people like um, Tony Robbins, Les yeah. Brown, all these guys, just because they had a book, they've been yeah. able to leverage, you know, their platform yeah. because of that particular book. You know, Frank Kern, all these guys are doing the same things with a book. You know, so you can definitely build a business with a book. Fantastic, fantastic. Hi, Julie Larson, Lawson, Lawrenson. Sorry, I've got my glasses on. Hi, Julie. <laughs> Great to have you join us as well. So anyone who's watching, please leave a comment. Do some likes for us. That would be so cool. Um, just to let us know that you are enjoying what we're doing here. Ask in the light questions, of guys. Those of you are Yeah, old, ask, ask questions. questions. That would be so cool as well. Anything you want to know. So Tunji's already gone through how to actually write your book. The, the process in which you can um, actually um, get your book started, planned, taking action on the book, doing a book launch or um, creating a community around um, your, your book as well, like in your group, and then taking it to the next level of actually making money from the book rather than just the sales of the book. You can have, um, have people lead into your um, courses, your webinars, your um, masterminds, your masterclasses, etc., etc. So if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments box. And um, even if you're watching the replay, because we'll come back to have a look at what um, what you've put in, in for after the replay. Because I know a lot of people don't, you know, they sort of miss the live interaction and they still want to ask um, questions once yeah. you watch, do, watch it as well. So please, please, um, you know, um, don't be afraid, don't be shy. Put, put your <laughs> questions in for us as well. So, um, so, um, so this process, the whole process, is, is, is this something that you do in 90 days with people? Or is it yes. 90 days, the, like, okay, the first part, and then you have to do another 90 days? What, no, how? so I do it within 90 days. Um, but at the moment, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm restructuring because mm-hmm. I'm thinking, okay, people can do this more effectively if they have more time. 90 days yeah. is great to get your book done, but most times mm-hmm. you can't really build a business in per se in yeah. 90 days you can but even focusing more on writing the book it's going to be difficult to you know build a business um, but that's yeah. why building a team is important so i'll show you how you can you know get virtual assistants that can help you you know okay. with that process while you are writing your book because you don't need to do everything whatever you can't do pass it on yeah. to someone else you yeah, know yeah. that can Just, do yeah. it for you so you know yeah. building funnels email sequences and all those stuff most people don't know about it so it's better to get someone that can do that job but yes within 90 days by the moment i'm thinking of extending it so that there's more time to focus on you know writing the book launching the book successfully then building a proper business around the book after the book has come out Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fabulous fabulous so yeah so you're a work in progress and you're um sort of um, going with your um, your clients and your community's wishes and wants and everything. So you flex and weave ac- according to yeah. what they want, which is what business is all about, really. It's like yeah. listening to your audience, listening to your clients and making sure that you deliver on what what they really need at the time and yeah. solving their pain. Their pain, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so getting back to being a business owner. Yes. <laughs> so, um, this is you. You were talking about the mindset shift that you had to to take to be a, a business owner, and um, so what what sort of what sort of advice would you leave? with our audience right now in terms of, okay, so what does it take to have that shift to from being just an employee to being a business owner? What, what advice would you like, give to someone okay. who's thinking of that? Um, I'm still an employee, even though I do have a business, I still work. <laughs> so I know there's some people that say, oh, you know, just leave your job, quit it, then go and start a business. Um, I would say, don't do that. <laughs> if you're still mm -hmm. working, stay in your job, sustain it. And whatever mm -hmm. you're making from it, used to sustain the business. And when you can leave, mm -hmm. do leave, you know. But if you're working and you love what you're doing, then keep doing that job while you're building your business. But the, the shift I will talk about is first, you need to believe in you. Mm -hmm. You need to believe in you. You need to believe that you have what it takes. What I keep telling people is, hey, keep smiling, keep shining because you've got what it takes to make it. You have mm -hmm. what it takes. We all have what it takes to make it. But we first Already. need to believe in ourselves. You know, because yeah. no one else is going to believe that you can do that business. No one else is going to yeah. believe that you can write that book. No one else is going to believe that you can be successful unless you believe it first. So that's yeah. the first shift that you yeah. definitely need to take is first, you know, changing that mindset of negativity to being mm -hmm. positive about yourself, no matter what mm -hmm. failures you know, might have happened in the past or you've gone through, know that, hey, yeah. I can do this and I'm going to do it. Absolutely. You have to believe in it so much that no matter what, if you earn money or no money, um, if people, other people believe in it or not, you know that this, what you've got to offer is just amazing. And you've yeah. already got it. You've already yeah. got it takes to make it happen. That's and it. within that, sometimes you just need to have the guidance, like you were saying, like you're guiding someone through their business process of writing the book. You're, you'll, be, you'll be helping them holding their hand. Yeah. But I can, I can bet that you, your people who come, you're encouraging them to believe in themselves, to say, yeah. hey, you know, I'm going to guide you, but you're going to believe in it more than I do, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. So believe in you. And this is what this is, this is all about, is believing, believing in yourself. Yeah. Now, would you um, say that you, the way that you're doing things is the way that everybody should be doing things? Like, you know, that... If they've, if they've, you're doing this pattern, is, is, you know, how do they, how do they find their own way in doing um, that, doing something? Everyone's not cut from the same tree, so I would say, you know, be yourself, like, you know, be yourself, do things the way you know how, you know, you don't need to copy the way I do it. Like, um, me and Danny, yes, we do the same, we're in the same industry, but we yeah. don't do this the same way. You know, yeah. she, she targets just women. I work with yeah. men and women. And she, yeah. you know, she talks about, you know, writing your story. But I talk mm -hmm. about building a business around your book. You know, so yeah. we're different in that sense, but we're still in the same industry. So you may want yeah. to come into an industry or want to do something, but find out what works best for you. You, absolutely. What works absolutely. best for you. Find your groove, find your mojo, find whatever works best for you. And go with it. And that's why mentorship and coaching is important. If you have someone that can guide you and lead you and, you know, show you the way and help mm -hmm. you to build you, it definitely goes a long way. Absolutely. This is, this is why I've um, formed this group and doing these interviews as well. Because when I'm coaching, the very first thing that I work with, with my clients, my, especially my business clients, is to find... Um, discover who you are, the essence of who you are, yeah. so that you know you, why you're here and who you are, so that you can actually fulfill your life purpose. So let's get that sorted first before we even get to the strategy and, and take any action. We need to find out who you are, why you're here, yeah. and, and then let you believe yourself, believe in yourself from that point and knowing that you're so unique and special at the same time. And we're yeah. all unique and special, you know? So fantastic. So I'm glad you have that philosophy as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you're letting your clients, you know, build on their own personalities. Oh and yeah, their own definitely. Essence. Yeah, 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 fantastic. Okay, so what's coming up for Tunji in the near future? What's, what's what you got lined up? Um, well, so I got my boot camps that I do. Um, I'm having one on mm -hmm. Saturday. 
a one day boot camp where I show you how to do all of this in a day. Okay. Um, well, not writing the book, but the planning, outline, and structure of the book, and the building a business around the book as well. So that's what I got okay. coming up on Saturday, the seventh, and also um, looking at probably doing it on the fourteenth. Okay. Well. So where, where is where is that? Um, it's in central London in um, Houston at the Wesley Hotel. The Wesley Hotel in Houston? Yeah, the Wesley and Hotel. And what time? Um, it's from 9.30 till um, 4 o'clock. Okay, actually, that's quite a nice o'clock. hotel. It's really easy oh, yeah. to find as well. It's, it's really very nice easy to find. Yeah, yeah. It's not difficult Fantastic. at all. And um, okay. it's only £97. Um, normally, wow. it's more than that. Um, but yeah. I'm doing it for £97 at the moment. Normally mm -hmm. it's about um two fifty, but it's ninety seven yeah. pounds at the moment. So Robert, that's so what, that's people, what's coming up. So how do people get um get in touch with you then? Are you you're gonna leave a link, an event bright link for yeah, us? I can, or, I can leave yeah. a link um to the sales page if you're interested. Then definitely um you'd have to if you are interested you have to sign up <laughs> by tomorrow morning or so. Um, yeah. since it's on Saturday. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'll I'll leave a link or just contact me on Facebook as well. Yeah, fabulous. And also, um, I do the BU um, promo Friday as well. So if you can post in the in the group, okay, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you do that um, for yeah. us as well, that would be really cool. So yeah, that's fine. Fantastic. Lovely. Thank Lovely. you. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay. And I think I would do something special for the group as well. Um, yeah, I was going to ask. You. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about this today. Looking to work with about five to ten people. And yeah. to get them from no book idea to published author, um, yeah. and building a business around their book. I, I I'm still building um, the sales page, but yeah. um, I'm offering it at one nine seven a month. Yeah. Every okay. month to work with you, to make sure you actually get this done, and become yeah. that author and build a business around your book. Fantastic. Which and normally, um, if yeah. if you were to do a ninety day program, um, yeah. the ninety day program alone is about two thousand pounds. Most people yeah. charge way more than that. <laughs> I know. Way I, know. More than that. I know. So doing Absolutely. this for um, three to six months at that price, I think is a no brainer. I think that's incredible. Incredible. Yeah, and if you're going to be building the business around it as well, which you make profit and you make money from the yeah. whole process, and it and you're going to have somebody hold your hand who's already been yeah. there, done that, and they can take you on the journey. That's incredible. Yeah. So is this for our, just our group, or is it just That's, in general for? Uh, in general, it's more, but for the group, yeah. I'm cutting it to one nine seven. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Thank you so much. So if you put all those details in this post as well, that would be so cool. Okay. And then let people know how to contact you. Um, because we've been in such a hurry in terms of the <laughs> Mercury retrograde, holding up our communication That's and fine. getting started, um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll edit um, all the details and everything. Okay. And, um, um, and, and put everything in that I need to. And plus, I'm going to be putting this on YouTube as well. Okay, so it's going awesome. to go far and wide as well. So, hi, awesome. Emily. I can see you watching. So, do you have Hello, any questions? Emily. Julie, Mike, Danny, everybody who's been watching as well. So, thank you. Any questions, please? Yeah, guys, ask them. questions. And when I see yeah. them afterwards, I'll definitely answer about book answer writing, them. publishing, yeah. building a business around your book. Let yeah. me know. Yeah, and even, even building a business in the first place in the yeah. way that you want, because that's the essence of what you're doing. You're doing your own thing and all the challenges that, that come up with that as well, yeah. you know, that, um, that you can answer. Okay, so, hi, sweetie, she says. <laughs> hi, Emily. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, so is there any last word that you want to um, leave our uh, viewers with? Okay, um, um, so what I always tell people, like I've said before, Remember that you got what it takes to make it, no matter whatever has happened, no matter what's happening right now, no matter what you're going through. Um, you know, I believe in God, so I believe that God will see you through. And I believe that you have what it takes to make it in business, in your marriage, in your personal life, in whatever area of life, you have what it takes to make it. But you've got to believe in you. Believe that you can and believe that you will. And I know that God will see you through. So, hey... You know, just go out and keep shining. That's it. Keep smiling yeah. and keep shining. Keep shining. Keep shining your light. Because you've been designed for. and destined for more. Okay? So yeah. remember that. You've been designed and you've been destined for more than where you are right now. Fabulous. Fantastic. 
Fantastic, and that's my philosophy as well. You, you, we want you to shine in your glory. So um, just to fi finish up now, I'm just going to do a little bit of advert for my own self. Yep. And if you want to work with me, and I suspect if you want to work with um, Tunji as well, um, please get in touch with Tunji. I'm going to leave all the details um, in the, um, uh, the comments below because it's going to be on YouTube as well as in um, Facebook Live. Yeah. Um, and get in touch with him, have a private conversation, and you know, put yourself um, out there, get your message out there. If you want to work with me um, one to one uh, to achieve your most wanted desires in your life and your business, then request a 30 minute drama alignment session with me. It's a, your purpose. Um, alignment um, session where we look at your vision, your mindset, your skill set, your strategy, and your emotional energy. And you leave the session with a 10 day plan of action to move from being stuck to being irresistible. Yeah. And um, so that we can make an impact, make money, and make the world a better place. So you can contact me um, via um, a private message as well on my, on my email, which is jbw at jenniferbowman-white.com. And visit my website, which is jenniferbowman-white.com as well. And you'll see all my posts, my blogs, and there's a little diary in there if you want to actually book that appointment with me. Just click on that. Uh, select your time that's available and we can have a conversation that can actually change your life which helps you to change the world and going back to Tunji saying hey you know what just be yourself and believe in yourself and thank you so much Tunji for making this happen even though it's late we actually made it happen so that's it. You and thank you for your time and good luck with, with your um, workshops and you know your business going forward thank you well. very much and you too thank okay, you guys take care now. Bye. Thanks. Bye. I'm waving at the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> Bye now. Bye. Bye. <laughs>